Welcome to our lesson on odd and even numbers. In the classroom, we call it cards and counters. This lesson is really teaching your child very, very obviously what an odd number is and what an even number is. We have the traditional Montessori material here, but you can also make your own. All you need are numbers from 1 to 10, and here, we just have dots. They're just little round wooden dots. This material we purchased, but again, please feel free to make your own. Here is how you will present the lesson for odd and even. Typically, your child will be sitting next to you, but for the purposes of presenting this lesson to you at home, I am going to illustrate it as if you are the child. I'm going to have it as if the child is sitting across from me, just to make it a little bit easier. Here's the presentation. First, you'll place your numbers in random order because you want to know that your child knows the numbers before we're teaching them the concepts of odd and even. And then it'll start by asking your child, will you please hand me the number one? Place the one at the top of the rug. Will you please hand me the number two? And you will do this until you have all of your numbers in order from one to 10. And now you will ask your child, will you please hand me one? And they will hand you one counter. Place it under the number one. Will you please hand me two counters? Two is a pair. The way I use it in the classroom is say, oh, this one has a partner. This is even. This one is on its own. It's odd or not even. Then you continue on. Will you hand me three counters? One, two, and help them place it the first time because you want it to be very obvious when one does not have a partner. Three, that's a partner. This does not have a partner. This number is odd. Four, One, two, three, four. They each have partners. Or you can use the language, these are in pairs. This is even. Four is even. And go on until you have it all laid out by pairs so that it, you can see that it's very obvious when a number does not have complete sets of pairs. One pair, two pair, this does not have a partner. It is not a pair. Five is odd. And by the end, you will have laid out all of the numbers and counters to illustrate odd and even. And then you can always play a game. Sometimes when they really get the concept of odd and even, you can ask them, will you please lay out all the numbers that are even? Only the even numbers. Another way to do it is reverse it. Can you show me just the odd numbers? Keep in mind, you will need 55 counters just so that it's easier. You don't want to get down to doing the lesson and then you don't have enough of the dots. So make sure that you have 55 counters and numbers 1 through 10. 
and that is the lesson on cards and counters or odd and even.